So to introduce this section, they have uh, the lawn problem. So there's this area of lawn, and we're supposed to find an expression for the area of the lawn. Now we're talking about just the green area, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the big rectangle, okay? Which that's going to be 10x times 6x. So the whole big rectangle, the area of the whole thing, is going to be length times width, which in this case is going to be 10x times 6x. Okay, but then we have to subtract this little area, this little area, and this little area. Okay, so this first one, that area, you can see it's a square, and it's 4 by 4, right? So the area of the little square is going to be um, 4 times 4, or 16. And the same thing over here, that other one is also going to be 16. So there's two of them. All right. And then what about this area? I need another color, but this area down here. Well, you know the width is 4, but what's this length here? Well, that's a little bit harder to figure out. It's the whole length, 10x, minus 4 right here, because that's 4, that distance is 4, minus another 4 from the other side, or 10x minus 8. So this little rectangle here is going to be 10x minus 8 times that 4. Okay, so the area of that rectangle right here is going to be 4 times 10x minus 8. Okay, so if we want an expression for the area of the lawn, the green area, it's going to be, well, I didn't write this, 60x squared, right? 60x squared minus, and then we have two of those, so minus 2 times 16, because there was one here and one here, minus, and then we have this rectangle, 4 times 10x minus 8. Okay. Now, your problems aren't going to be quite this complicated, but it's kind of fun to look at some of these problems. It's a good idea to think in terms of area and what we're doing. So, All right, so what do we get if we simplify that? 60x squared minus 32 minus 40x plus 32. And that's going to simplify to 60x squared minus 40x. Now that answers the question. That's an expression for the area of the rectangle, then the grassy area, uh, the lawn. But you could also write this as 20x times 3 minus, oops, 3x minus 2. Because if you distributed, that would give you 60x squared, and that would give you 40x. So this is one way to write the expression. This is another way. This way is considered factored. The bottom one is factored because it's in terms of multiplication. So when, we, when they tell us to factor something, they want it in terms of multiplication. Now, you might say, well, what about this form up here? It's lovely. It's a polynomial. It's great. Um, just depends on what form you want it in. It's not that one's better than the other. It just depends on what you're doing with it. Okay? But in this section, we're going to be working on taking a polynomial and putting it in a factored form.